Okay. So, I'm just gonna come in and get a little bit and stuff before I'm actually supposed to be asleep, but I'm not because I work at night and um, I need rest, but I'm up because I needed to get some stuff done and um. Y'all, hold on, because I need to change this shirt. I'm like literally starting to perspire. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, this job, I swear to God, is getting on my nerves. Uh, I'm getting to the point where I just cannot, I can take it anymore. I need to put on a new shirt or something, because I'm like literally burning up. Oh, yeah. So look, I got the closet organized. Ooh, y'all all over the place. I got the closet, I got my rack organized. Before it was like, oh, it was a mess. Like I have so much stuff hanging on here that the rod was starting to bend. But now I got all the stuff. This outfit is from my store. And then the rest is just, you know, thrift and whatever. And then my outfit with the mask. And then my jacket, my ACDC jacket with a leopard print. And then here I got this organized, semi, sort of, whatever. But I, I got it, I got it done, finally. I'm trying to get stuff done. It's kind of hard to get stuff, do things when you work at night and stuff, but I'm trying my fucking best to um, do whatever I need to do. And the time limit that I have. Oh my goodness. Let me see. What do you want? Man, so this job gets on my damn nerves. So my manager this morning, it's like, I get off at like 5.30. So I go in, my alarm goes off. I go in to go clock out. As soon as I see my manager coming down, the damn just, I, I tell him immediately. So I, I don't want to be fucked with. I'll tell him people, I'll be like, it's early. It's early in the morning. That means back the fuck up. Get out of my face. Leave me alone. It's early. I don't want to hear no bullshit early in the morning. I don't want to start my day off shitty. Just go somewhere else. Whatever crap you trying to come with. Go somewhere else. Anyway, so he comes up to me and he was like, well, I thought you were supposed to be on a detail. No, I switched shifts. But in my job, we call them tours. So I'm like, no. I switched. I switched. He was like, no, you're supposed to be doing a detail to, you know, basically be in the office. So I'm like, no. I'm like, I went in there and there was no mouse for the computers, you know, neither desk. And so I said, the hell with this shit. Mind you, this is my manager. So I said, I was like, no, I said, the hell with that shit. So I, I continued on to the clock and whatever. He was hot. Cause when I walked past him after I clocked out, he looked at me so hard. I was like, I don't give a fuck because I refuse to work in a in a space. I'm doing y'all a favor. I didn't ask to be in there. I'm, each time that I've been in that office, I've been asked by a manager to help them out. I don't ask. I don't be begging nobody. I'm like, please, please, please. Now. I'm on the list. I'm on the eligibility list to promote into this job, right? But for some reason, there's always some complications as to why I never get promoted. The last time they gave my job to somebody to somebody else. Okay, so I'm getting to that point. So the same individual, the same individual likes to fuck with me. Okay, she's a. I'm. I'm. I'm not even gonna be kind on this video. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I wanna say. She's a motherfucking bully. I don't do bully shit. I didn't do bully shit. I didn't tolerate that crap when it came to my kids, and I damn sure not gonna tolerate it as an adult. Okay. So whenever I'm in there helping, you know, she finds a reason 
to come in uh say some fucked up shit to me or try to uh trick me into doing some shit and then it always it, it fucking goes south right so the last time each time now mind you we've had at least we've had at least two episodes her and i okay and the first time she didn't get in trouble and they know damn well it was a problem so then she calls the union and then have them to have management to step me down because she wanted management to pay her more money to be on a different shift which i'm already trained to do the work i'm already on that shift so why should anybody pay you more money to to do the, do the job when there's already somebody else trained but anyway that's no here no there anyway so she was irritated i guess or whatever mind you she was the only one in the job because the other person was off for whatever reason i'm not gonna get into the details of that they were off and they were off for a few months so she calls the union the union comes up in there and the manager comes up to me and he was like okay well i'm gonna have to uh step you down but thank you for for helping helping us out okay no problem whatever you need help again just let me know it's not a, it's not an issue for me the second time another time my news time has spread it out whatever we're talking like what a couple it's a couple of years later because they don't ask me to help out in there like not too often but anyway so I go in there I, and I'm helping. So she's like supervising, which that's what she's doing right now. She's supervising. So by the time she gets to the shift that I'm on, mind you, I've been, I've been doing this shit for well over a week, probably what, two weeks. And she comes on a, our shift and well, no, technically, no, I'm lying. Let me backtrack because I was uh, basically out of schedule that wasn't my tour so anyway so by the time she gets to on the shift that i'm i'm working on she's cool the first day she was like oh if you need to if you know you have any questions and stuff like because like i said i'm not in there very often so um i'm not sometimes i forget stuff or whatever because i'm not doing the job every day right so i forget stuff but there's material that I can reference from to, you know, pretty much remind me on how to do certain things, whatever, whatnot. So she comes in and she's cool. She's like, you need to know anything. You just ask me, ask the other individual, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I know we ain't going to be friends. Because you didn't show your ass to me with, you know, too many motherfucking times. I'm, I'm good, bitch. I'm good. Okay. So. I'm like, all right, maybe we'll be able to work together, you know, um, and not there not be a problem. The next day, I come in, I already see a cart sitting out in the fucking hallway. So I'm like looking at it. I'm like, hmm, why is that sitting out here? So I'm like, whatever. I go in, put my stuff down and shit, turn on the computer, whatever, whatnot. And so she comes in. She grabs some whatever I'm um, okay whatever then she comes back later and she was like oh well, I'm about to do bench stock why are you about to do bench stock technically I'm supposed to do that but okay if that's what you want to do so this the, the, the next day basically she was a whole different fucking person a whole different person right so I'm like, okay, whatever. I, I I don't know what the fuck's going on with you. I, I don't like me. I, I don't like stuff like that. That's that that's you, you doing too much, okay? So she's back and forth in the office. She's back and forth in the office and shit. Excuse me. And then she's uh one of the times she comes back and then she's behind the counter. And she's she yells across the counter like what you doing right now so i'm like the fuck i look around and i'm like the worksheets you need to do the receiving 
Um, I'm right in the middle of something right now. I, I will get to that. Okay? But not right now. So, she leaves out, comes back in, and it's just this, that, this, this, this time she gets in my space. She's like standing over me. I'm sitting at the desk. She's standing over me like, well, you need to do this receiving and I, I don't need to do the receiving right now. I'm already in the middle of doing something else that pretty much takes priority over that. Now, if there's something, if there's an order or something you're looking for, then find it yourself. Because I don't know what the hell went on here before I came in. You know, find it and handle that. Okay? Don't come in here with all this rah-rah shit. I don't want to hear that. I just got here. I'm just, I barely just got on the clock. Okay? So, I'm, I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be as calm as possible and stuff you know what i'm saying because you know so many a lot of these people at this fucking place they like to try folks patience and stuff they take their little positions and they think that's uh some motherfucking security blanket and it's not a lot of us live in the same areas and stuff like that that ain't stopping nobody from uh tapping that ass and wherever the hell they see you knock this crap off okay so i'm like i tell her i said what is with you you've been on my ass since before i got on the clock what's the problem you know, i haven't been on your ass yeah you have you you've been talking shit to me since before i even like slid my card what, what what's the problem You know, so I'm like, look, I'm not here to argue with you or whatever. You want to argue? I'm like, I can go home. <laughs> Shut up. I could go home. I could clock out and I can go home. And then you can figure this stuff out by yourself. And then she leaves again. Okay, so I go back to doing what I'm doing and whatever. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with her? All right, whatever. She comes back again. I'm trying to gather my thoughts. She comes back again. So, why she's doing this stuff this whole time? I'm emailing my manager. I'm like, I told you. I was like, I told you this stuff is gonna be a problem. She in here acting like she, like she's bipolar and stuff. Like that was the first email. Okay. Let me let me let me get that let me get that across. That was the first email. So then when she comes back again, like I said, she she's sitting at the other person's desk. She gets up. Then she 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 sits down. Then she gets up. Then then she goes over to the all of the stuff, the receiving and shit. She starts punching open boxes. So I was like I'm looking at her. I'm like, you punching, punching the boxes. I'm like, okay, you getting aggressive. I'm about to get the hell out of here. For this stuff ends, uh, you know, ugly. This is not gonna end well. At least not for you. So I email my manager while she's sitting there acting crazy. She didn't even know I was sitting there emailing the manager. That's what was so sad is that the whole entire time she was acting a damn fool. I was emailing the manager, telling her exactly what the fuck was going on. Cause I'm like, you're not about to put me in a slingshot and try to make it seem like I was the one that was acting a damn fool with you. So I'm emailing the manager. I'm like, she ain't here being aggressive. This shit, I'm uncomfortable and I'm going home. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about, I'm going home. Cause I don't know what the hell she about to do next. Okay. So I, I log off the computer. I log off the computer. I get my purse and the rest of my belongings and I walk off. So she's just sitting there looking at me. So I stopped by the first supervisor's office, the night supervisor, I stopped by his office. I'm like, hey, she on one, I'm going home. That's what I'm doing, I'm going home, she on one. Then I see the other uh, supervisor that works like uh, afternoon. I see him sitting outside, I'm like, 
She on one, she acting up. You already know we don't get along because she likes to fuck with me. I said, I'm going home. I let the, the manager know. I emailed her and I told her the, what's going on. I emailed her. I'm going, I told her I'm going home. So I'm going home. I clocked out and I, and I left and I went home. Mind you, I had only been there an hour. So all this shit occurred within an hour of me being there. Okay. And we won't talk about the other time when she had me call another facility and, and ask to borrow a part for a machine and shit. And they sent it over. I talked to the, uh, the office person over there and they was like, well, um, why don't you guys have the part? I was like, I don't know. Look, I'm just feeling in. I don't know what the heck be going on in this office and stuff. A lot, whole lot of nothing. A lot of times that I see when I be checking all the the, the um, history of stuff because they don't know I be doing that. I be checking the history and stuff because I'm supposed to be stupid because I'm not in there that often. So I ain't supposed to know a goddamn thing. But I be I'm pretty damn savvy when it comes to a computer. But anyway, so I will check. I'm like, there's stuff in there that ain't been ordered in a couple of years. Okay. But do I see anything? No, I mind my business. I just like, I shake my head at that shit. I'm like, so she was like, when I come in, she's like, call um such and such facility and ask them for this part. So I do it, right? I called them and I asked for, like I said, I talked to the office clerk over there. And they was like, well, why don't y'all have it? I was like, oh, no, I don't know what's going on. He's like, okay, well, I'll send the part over. Great, super, because we need it. So the issue with the machine, it was already down, whatever, and it needed to be fixed before I came in. Mind you, I came in at like 7 o'clock. She started work at 1. So the machine had already been down, like, what, maybe two, three hours prior to me coming in? So they sent over the part, and so I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And then the night supervisor is all panicking and she, because they need to get the machine fixed. And so they could be running, they could run the mail, whatever crap, right? And uh, so he's panicking. So then we find out that the shit came and somebody on the dock sent it back. So I'm like, oh my, I said, look, I tell the supervisor, I'm like, look, let's calm down. This prob this was a problem before you even came in. I did my part, which was called the other facility, and asked them to send over the part. It came from that point on, it's out of my hands, out of your hands, whatever. They just, I don't know. But here's the gag. The next day when I came in, the next day I came in, the bitch comes in the office. Yeah, I say bitch. She comes in the office and she says, oh, by the way, um, we had the part all the time. Next time, check. <laughs> Why would I check when you told me to call the other facility and ask them to send the damn part over? Why the fuck would I need to check over your orders? You told me to call the other facility and have them to send over the part. Why the fuck would I need to check if you if you already giving me orders to call somewhere else? And furthermore, why would you sabotage the machine like that? Knowing that mail needs to get out of here. Let me say this again. Why the fuck would you sabotage the machine? So I told my manager. I told my manager about that little fuck shit she did. Yeah, I did. I showed it. I don't give a fuck. I showed it. Because, see, she tried to play me by telling the manager, like, oh, well, she left and she didn't tell nobody. No, the fuck. Shut the fuck up. I told, I told three people. I told her. I told two other supervisors. And as far as you knew, when I picked up my purse and shut down that computer, you knew I was leaving. <laughs> so that you was person number four. So I'm like... <laughs> 
anyway so this time around my manager was like oh well, i'm gonna let her supervise but it's only temporary type of thing they call it a detail anyway so i'm like you sure you want to do that did you forget about her sabotaging the machine last time you 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 in the in the in the manager manager already be like you know bumping heads and stuff you sure you want to do that so they need a person to fill her spot right so i in the beginning i said i would do it right i said i would do it i go in there the day i'm supposed to help out which i came i actually end up coming late right because there's no documentation saying that i am to do this job okay because when you do another job outside of your fucking craft usually there is a detail and you have to sign the sheet whatever which is basically obligating you to do that job i'm not obligated because i haven't signed a damn thing okay this is what we agreed upon is verbal okay because see the thing is here's the, here's the thing they want me to do that job all y'all know i'm a custodian they want me to do that job and they still want me to do my custodian routes too who the fuck do i look like and i'm mad I'm, that's why i'm on here i'm mad because like who who the fuck do i look like do I look like do, do I look like I got a cake behind me? Last time I check, I don't. No, I agree to that. I'm not even gonna lie. I agree to that because I'm supposed to do that shit. After shit for a couple of hours, I can do it, no problem. I could do like the majority of the work in there in a couple of hours. While you know, some people pretend like they need a day or two days, and it it don't take that long. It don't take that long. So, but I go in the office and shit and I go in there to check to see if I have email access. Now, let me rewind back to that. <laughs> My manager, because she knew I was pissed off because the promotion that she had promised me, she did some old bullshit. And she knew I was mad because I had been talking shit to the other people about what the hell I was going to do, which was basically tell on her somebody and two other people and the girl that's supervising is one of them okay so she took away my email access and blah 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 she took away all my access then when i try to ask for it back and shit because i didn't know that she took it i thought because like sometimes the shit expires and the manager has to be reactivate the crap or whatever shit right or when you don't use your your access out for a while and then it like you know it expires but anyway so she's like oh yeah i'll activate it so then when i went to check check on it again like a day later nothing so i was just like oh okay you don't want me to have access because you think i'm gonna email the manager manager that lady across the building well why do i need to do whatever i need to say to her why why do you think that uh, email is the only communication wave I'll wait so anyway that was the reason why I went in the office to check to see was my email access there and it was but then when I went over to look at the desk there was no mouse on the first desk there was no mouse on the other desk so I'm like how am I supposed to do any work when there's no mouse on either desk so I emailed the manager and I said hey I said there's no mouse there's no mouse on none of these desks. What do you, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? So I I sent that email, whatever shit. And then I thought about it. I had a day to like think about this shit, right? And I already knew what happened with the mouse. The same girl that likes to fuck with me, she took him. She took him and hit him, right? So I thought about this shit and I'm like, why do I need to deal with this crap? Why do, why do I need to deal with this? I don't, cause at the end of the day, I already have a job that I, I'm doing. I don't need to take any fucking shit off of some little half twit, insecure, low self esteem, low motherfucking vibrational ass bitch. I don't need to take this shit. So you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to do it. Let them figure it out how the, the shit is going to get done. I'm not going to do it. 
So that was that was the whole thing with my manager this morning and then my supervisor keeps asking me and I told him, I was like, when the manager figures out this petty shit that's going on in this office, then okay, I'll, I'll do it. But until then, until she fix the fucking problem, I'm not doing nothing. Because when it gets down to it, when shit gets started, then you know you calling me in the office. What the fuck you calling me in the office for? I ain't even doing nothing. I'm doing the job that you asked me to do. What the fuck are you calling me in the office for? What the hell you need to talk to me for? I ain't done nothing. So you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna let uh have this, this bully. Cause I'm not gonna, you know, I ain't gonna use people's names, but you're not gonna, you know, uh reprimand this bully and shit but you gonna call me I mean last time when we had the altercation or whatever she she did you know tell her something but clearly it's not um nothing that she's like intimidated by or whatever so then we got this manager or whatever that's over the facility and shit so I guess you know she's up our manager's ass while letting her do stuff and shit and that's some fuck shit to me because you don't even know this this chick's history you don't know you know her behavior wise she done sabotaged the machine motherfucking mail is already being left behind because we got another individual in the facility that don't know what the fuck is going on i'm just waiting for the district people to come and shut that whole motherfucking shit down that's that's what i'm waiting on I'm waiting for that because how long are y'all gonna play with people's money and time people in certain positions and they're so easily distracted and they're not they're not they're not focusing on the shit that's important which is making sure that the mail gets to its destination. We got contractors that come to pick up stuff. And in my opinion, I don't know for sure, but I assume these people are driving from other states, right? To pick up mail. And they're leaving there without the mail because people are not making sure that it's getting on the trucks. Like, how fucking hard is that? You, a scanner, you, you, you scan the box, you scan the fucking truck, you scan the other, the boxes or whatever shit that's supposed to go on the damn truck. How fucking hard is that? Like, I'm so sick of working in this place where there's so, all these incompetent fucking people and shit and they and these people are in these jobs. I'm probably going to be in trouble for this video. I, at this point, I don't give a damn. I already got stuff in mind that I want to do besides I, I, this shit is like wearing on my goddamn patience. It's wearing on my patience. It's wearing on my goddamn energy. And I'm just tired. I don't even want to do this poster shit anymore for real. Because uh, the level of incompetence is just like it's fucking killing me every day. Like, I'll be posting those videos and shit. The shit is funny, but I'll be dead serious. I'll be dead serious about them damn videos like that's the only way that I can express myself without getting myself in trouble and you know and possibly some other shit you know what I'm saying so that's my way of being able to express how I'm what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling about my fucking workplace I'll be dead serious you know I'm taking a risk doing this shit but at this point I don't even care cause I've dealt with in all my my career of working for the post office i've dealt with nothing but abuse torment and mistreatment discrimination sexual harassment all of that shit all of that shit things that they say that's not tolerated is tolerated it's tolerated it goes on constantly and so and these people be doing shit and another thing and another thing these people be doing stuff in this damn building and it's like i've been saying for years there used to be another person that worked there and they're not there anymore but um 
these people be doing stuff in this facility and they think that people at another facility and they know that facility what that facility is they think they don't know what's going on there everything is hooked up to a computer all the machines is hooked up to a computer they have a volume count and then when stuff don't get on trucks and stuff you know like when I used to work at a station like if a uh, if a contractor was there too long or whatever shit or late or where however I forget which but they used to get a fine who the hell wants to pay extra money and that's just the thing like we we're already paid decent salaries and shit like that but now you're costing even more money and that's why I think really why they're doing this consolidation is that they're just fed up they're completely fed up with people's triflingness their incompetentness they're they're sick of it and, and these people and their extra marital of uh, fucking affairs and and all this kind of shit and nothing is the and the production is like this you know what I'm saying production is like this so they're like and all these changes like and I'm so concerned about it because I'm not in a position right now to leave like right 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 now you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm not I want to but I'm not you know and so all these people are concerned and no changes are coming right they know changes are coming but it's not a priority to them it's not a concern it's not going to be a concern until it happens you know what I mean and it's like and then management is being secret about a lot of things and stuff and they don't know this consolidation is really going to affect them as well because the people the the powers to be are tired of their shit as well now some people probably watching this shit and like you a custodian what do you know I know what I watch and I know the shit that I hear and which you know a lot of shit that goes on I'm like hmm that took <laughs> I expected that or well shit it's about time they caught on to that I, did, I watch stuff I pay attention so this consolidation stuff and whatever all these changes that's, that's happening it, it really concerns me you know we got two facilities these people in my facility don't even know we got two facilities that's getting ready to open in the next in the coming weeks the SDCs two and they've made this shit where that these facilities are so far away that the people are not going to want to do the commute to these facilities so the goal is for the people to quit that's the goal they want the people to quit their job so they quit the job and they eliminate a lot of a lot of because they can't fire them so we're gonna we're gonna put them in a situation where they voluntarily quit that's the that's the that's the point they're not gonna fire people because they can't really fire them you know so we'll 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 push out these facilities and stuff so they'll quit and they're gonna house people from you know because there's still more facilities that are closing of course but they're gonna take care of those people first and then whatever little spots they have left over then well yeah you you can come if you want to do the drive who's going to want to drive over 100 miles you're putting two 200 miles on your car every day who's going to do that most of your earnings is going to go in gas and maintenance for your car who's going to do that And I probably think I'm well, shouldn't you be worried? No, not not really, because I've been hoping and praying for this facility to close, to be honest. Cause I mean, if you've been treated and shit like I have and stuff, you wouldn't give a damn either. Honestly, you wouldn't you wouldn't give a damn. You'd be like, oh, good. Good, it's closing. 
You know, that's a shitty thing to say, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It's like I watch people come and go and shit. And it's like even with me, when it comes to me and my craft right now, I should have been promoted. Everybody that I came in with, we, we most of us started as mail handlers and shit. Everybody's promoted. Everybody's promoted but me. Everybody's promoted and promoted and promoted. You know what I mean? And everybody but me. So, and then when there's op opportunities, when it comes, supposedly becomes my turn. And then for some for some foreseen reason, you know, all of a sudden it's it's a it's a flop. Oh well, it didn't the the spot didn't get approved so now you know it didn't get approved how did it go from being approved to unapproved explain that one to me but then when you need help then you want me to help and then you know but then I gotta be bullied all at the same time and bullied and harassed all in the in the process of helping you guys out and then you want to know why I don't want to fucking help you when you can't even control the damn closet monster that is creating a problem. If you can't control the issue, then I'm not going to put myself in a situation where things are going to uh, become ugly. I'm not going to subject myself to that. You know, it's not that important. To, because again, like I said before, at the end of the day, I have a job that I'm, I do. You know what I mean? I'm doing a favor and a service to y'all. You know, I didn't ask y'all to help. You asked me to help. So now you guys are harassing me. Oh, why don't you want to, do you want to help? Can you, uh, do you, are you, no, stop asking. I told you, get control of this fucking situation. And then maybe y'all consider. But as long as you letting people just run them up and do whatever the fuck they want to, no, I'm not going to do it. Then when I lose my fucking temper, then you want to be like, well, you know, that's not professional. Either it's this bullshit either. It's not professional, but you allow it. And because I won't kiss ass, now I'm unprofessional? No. Absolutely not. I just, honestly, I want to get out of this stuff. I want to get out of it. I've been wanting to get out of it. My my kid told me to get out of it. You know? He's like, Mom, you don't need this. You don't need it anymore. You don't need to do it. I stuck with this shit to, you know, take care of my kid. Now my kid is grown. I don't have to do this shit anymore. I don't. It's just me and my freaking dog, you know? I don't have to do this shit. You know? So... And honestly, and not to sound like a crazy person, but people are putting themselves in situations with me and they have more to lose than I do. I'll say that. I'll say it like that. They have more to lose than I do because I don't have a family to take care of. It's just me. So whatever situation that I have, whether if I'm not there or not, well, guess what? It's, you know, I'm going to figure it out along the way. I'll be okay. I'm going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be okay regardless. But what is your position going to be if you're not there, if you don't have a job? So why do you want to be confrontational with me? You know? Because he gets to that point. It's confrontational. And I don't like to be in pos in positions where I got to be in confrontation with somebody at my job and especially a female cuz cuz what in the fuck you know what I'm saying you know they they ugh they, these women at this job they just be pettier than the bitch I swear to god just petty petty over the, the over the the dumbest shit petty over over men that you can't have Petty over job positions. Just just fucking petty. I'm tired of, of, of working in an environment like that. There shouldn't be a reason that I should have to continue to work in an environment like that. 
Nobody should have to deal with any type of shit like this. It's insane. Completely insane. I just did a TikTok video. I gotta get off this topic for a little bit because it's starting to like get on my nerves. But um I'm doing a lot of like different stuff and it's just like you know I'm I'm I got so much different stuff going on I like literally I need a clone. I need a clone to cover everything. And so my point to that is that I don't have time for the petty things that go on to, at this job because I have so many other things going on that pretty much keeps me occupied that I don't care about this 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 stuff that goes on here. Like these people, I don't understand it. These people that be having families and stuff like that and they're concerned about the things that go on there, people having relationships like you know, like, why is that a concern? You know, like, don't you have a spouse at home with some kids and 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 shit like that? Like, cause I'm single, okay, divorced actually. But I mean, even if I had like some, you know what I'm saying? If I had some shit like what most of these people got going on, I wouldn't give no kind of I'd zero, okay. I'm gonna just say that. That's how many I would give this many you know what i'm saying so like i just don't, i don't understand the mindset of people that be overly concerned what other people are doing like when you have a whole life outside of this building i don't understand that maybe it's me maybe i'm the one with the problem you know maybe i'm the one with the problem anyway i just feel like I just feel like like this is not this is not for me anymore. You know, I literally like I go to work and I'm sitting in the car and I'm literally like trying to wrap my mind and and piece myself together to even go inside the building. You know what I'm saying? Because it irritates me that fucking much. It irritates me that much that I have to like mentally prepare myself to go inside there like people don't know like what be going on with folks and shit and then they be in people certain other people be in certain positions and they be taking advantage of their little their little title and and messing with folks and they don't know that people be having shit going on outside of that you know work you know and I don't know. And then when shit goes down or that person snaps or lose it, and then it's like, oh my God, now this per this is a dangerous person. But no, you put you pushed them to that though. Why are you trying to label this person as a fucking nut case when you pushed them to that? And I'm not just speaking for other I'm speaking for myself though, you know? You've pushed them to that, so why are you labeling you putting a label on a per a individual that you push them to the the brinks of that, you know. It is it, it blows my mind, and I bet you there's people up there at the, you know, the district people. They they probably sitting there and they're shaking their heads like, you know, it's just a matter of time for them, you know. Saying my facility is just a matter of time. You know, I do believe at some point that they will shut it down. And they're worried about stuff that they shouldn't even, they should be worried about. They should be concerned about improving the quality of production there. You know what I mean? But that's not a concern. And. I really didn't want to make this a long video, but I just want to vent. And may probably when I'm not a whole lot of people are gonna watch this shit, but that's that's fine. I just want to vent. And people go and they apply for the post office. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's cool financially, 
you know it's cool money wise and shit to a certain degree but now we're in a time where the cost of living is much more expensive and what folks don't know is that a lot of people that work for the post office they be having side hustles because their money ain't enough you know especially since things are more expensive now you know people be having side hustles like me i have no, I have a few businesses. I, I have a few, you know. But um, the money isn't enough. And, you know, and like I said, you know, I'm, I, I, my kids are grown and it's just me. But imagine the people that still, they have children and they're raising their children and stuff like that. And the spouse, and depending on the situation, you know, it might be. A stay-at-home spouse or they may work or whatever but it's it, shit is like is is difficult it's not easy out here and it's just like you're already working your ass off and we spend more time at this job than we do at home with our families you know what i mean we know our co-workers a, a, a little bit we spend more time I'll say that we spend more time with our co-workers than we do our family and um, that's a lot of time at work that's a lot of time away from your kids your spouse and shit so I don't know I just, this just stuff that be on my mind a lot. I dread every day going to this place. I gotta work tonight. I got tonight, tomorrow night, and then I think, and then Wednesday night. Um, I think I'm yeah Wednesday night I'm off, and then whatever. And then it starts all over again. Whatever. But. It just made me so mad this morning. And maybe I shouldn't have, you know, I don't know if I could say if I took it personal, but it's, it was early in the morning. Like I be telling people, it's like, I don't, I like my day to start, start off smooth because if it starts off shitty, then I just be in a like a shitty ass mood the rest of the day. So I wouldn't say I was in a shitty mood, but that conversation really bothered me. And I don't like to be an issue for management. You know, that's not something that fucking I get off on is being an issue for management. I don't want to be an issue for anybody. If anything, you know, I, I prefer to get along with the people that I work with so that it's not creating any extra um, stress or drama for me, you know. But, you know... I don't mind helping management when they need help or they want something done or stuff like that. But when they have situations that they don't know how to deal with or they just choose not to control the situation, it's just like, I'm not I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to put myself in a situation where it's going to cause me more stress or worse, you know. So you're on your own with this. I try to help you as much as I can, but when it comes to you needing to help me um, fix a situation that shouldn't have went on for so long, then because that's the way I look at this shit, it went on so long because when it comes to that individual, it's like, what the fuck are you mad for? You, you got my job, okay? You you took my job, the job that I was supposed to get promoted. You you got the job. I, I'm not even worried about this shit anymore. I don't even care about it because so much time has went by is that I don't even care about this shit. So it's like, why every time you have contact with me, it's a fucking problem. What are you mad about? What the fuck are you mad about? You 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 mess with me. You fucks with me. I don't fuck with you. You fucks with me. So what are you mad about? five six years on what by since you got promoted into this position now from what i understand now you're getting 
ready to be promoted in another position and they think that I'm going to take her role and then she's going to be my supervisor? Fuck no. 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 I, I will not. I will not. Because what kind of shit is that? I don't know. I'm just over it. I'm like really over it. I'm like, I'm looking into some other stuff. And and I think I'm gonna go with that. And and then actually the shit that I'm looking in and I can make way more money. I can make pretty much the income of maybe three, four people, the shit that I'm looking into. So why why tolerate some crap like this? This this is small fries comparing to the shit that I'm heading in the direction of. You know? You wanna be a supervisor? Cool. Keep working and slaving up in here with this fucking mindless ass bullshit. Go ahead. Am I jealous of you? Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. What is there to be jealous of? Because at the end of the day, there's always somebody else that you have to answer to. You know? So. And if you don't do something right, then I mean, that's your ass. You know what I mean? So, I'm just waiting for this place to fucking shut down or the district people to come down <laughs> and do a sweep. That's what I call it, a sweep, where they just be like, they just line people up and they be like, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. You know, that's what I'm just waiting for. Because eventually it is going to come to that. Because it's just too much, there's... It's too, too much screwing up going on there. And it's like, damn, like, are you doing this shit on purpose or what? Like, or like, how are you, are, how are you here at this facility and you not, you don't know, like, you know? But I guess, like, this is like, the, it's just getting worse and worse. Like, before I used to talk shit about how people are you was doing things before but it's just like there we got these other people in there and it's even worse and i'm like oh my god i'm like y'all doing all this stuff and i don't think that people know what's going on here they know they see like and you think you can see the the cameras and stuff and what people are doing and shit you think that somebody else can't see those cameras you just watching somewhere else you think they can't see what the fuck is going on uh, surely those people are not that goddamn stupid surely they are not that goddamn stupid like you see surveillance cameras of certain parts of the building certain parts of the outside and whatever shit and stuff and people be doing their, their stuff and you know management Surely management has access to see what the hell the surveillance cameras, but if you have access, who else do you think have access to look at that shit? Hmm? And then you don't think that somebody, you as a manager or supervisor or whatever, you think ain't nobody watching you? This is like the casino movie and shit. It's just like that certain scene for people who have seen casino. It's just like that certain scene, like with the the casino back way back in the day when the, in the seventies and shit, where they had before they had like the cameras and shit inside the casinos. They had people up on risers and shit watching with binoculars and shit like that to make sure people wasn't cheating or stealing or whatever in the casinos. But then it was like shit. They're watching people. And we got people watching them. <laughs> That's a fucking who. So, the people you got watching pe the other people to make sure that they're not cheating and stuff at the card games and the cause it, uh, the uh, the the slot machines and shit like that. You got people. You got motherfuckers watching them too. 
That's interesting. So it's the same concept. So like if you watching some shit, don't you think somebody's watching? What the, somebody else ain't watching and watching you? Cause just cause you hold this title, that don't mean that don't make you perfect. That doesn't make you, uh, you know, um, a Zeus. You know, that doesn't make you that person. So you don't think somebody watching you? I just it cracks me up. There's like I I I find so much humor in watching these people and the way they move and the way they do things and stuff. And it just I it, I just find so much humor in it because I'm like you doing this stuff, you moving like this, and you don't think somebody is. There ain't nothing secret in the post office No matter where the fuck you at There ain't nothing secret People always know somebody business No matter where the fuck they came from They always know they business And it's just like You know But okay But yeah so I, I'm just um, My goal is to Get the hell out of there Before the shit hits the fan Because it it's, it's getting there all these changes and stuff is getting there. And then like these businesses like UPS and then um, USPS, like now they wanna they wanna use robots to do the job now. That's, people need to be concerned. That means people are gonna be out of jobs. These, these, these folks that's running these business that are on the owners of these businesses, they done got tired of people's shit. Motherfuckers just, on sick, they on disability, and uh, we had the FMLA and shit like that. They ain't gonna tired of these motherfuckers. They ain't gonna tired of this shit. You milking the system. They're like, I can get some. I can get like fucking five robots to do this shit. Oh, fuck, and I ain't even gotta pay it. You know, that's the way they looking at stuff. But people that just walking around like this. Me, I'm like, <laughs> cause I want to know. Basically, for me, the the reason why it's so important to me, cause I want to know how much time I got before I need to make make quick moves. That's what I'm concerned with. I need to know how much time I fucking got before I need to make some quick moves. These people, they know changes are coming, but they ain't that concerned about it. And that's cool. That's you. Okay, but like I said, but before the shit hits the fan, I want to be out of here. I already got some shit established. So whenever the fuck these people decide, they want to start letting people go and bring in some robots or whatever the hell they going to do and stuff, that it won't affect me, you know, because I'll be out. They ain't got to worry about what to do with me, you know. So, um, yeah. I got some stuff. I got this. I'm getting off topic a little bit. This suction um, camera uh, mount is good for your camera or GoPro, which I got both. So I'm going to do a video on that. I just got that today. And um, well, I'm hoping that it'll, it'll work good because, you know, I'll be filming in the bathroom it's just today so that I'm doing a little vlog that I'm just I'm not in the bathroom and I'm not doing the wig shit and whatever and stuff but um yeah so I guess I'm gonna get off of here I'm like almost 60 60 minutes in it's long I didn't intend for this video to be long but I just wanted to vent and then you know talk about the stuff that I want to do I honestly want to do I, I, I think I want to do trucking but I'm not sure this is now I work at night so if I wanted to go to school to get my CDL like I can I can do it I, I'm in a position where I could go to school because it'll take about at least a month to get your your license and stuff you get your CDL license but I'm not sure. I'm still like 
brainstorming over it and shit. But for sure, people are saying, like, you don't have to have a CDL to get a box truck. And for sure, uh, I know, like, a cargo van. So I was looking into that. I've already started, like, my business or whatever shit in logistics and stuff. I just need to cover the bases on whether I'm going to get my CDL or I'm going to get a box truck or cargo van. And I need to fucking get my money right in order to fucking buy one of those. Either one or both, you know? Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get at the hell out of this. You can't go wrong with having a, a transportation business. That that shit is never going to fucking die. Just like the medical um, the medical field. You can, there's always going to be jobs in the medical field. There's always going to be jobs in transportation and trucking. People need their stuff moved. And you know what I'm saying? And that's that's the route to go. People are always going to need stuff comes from overseas and everything. And they need their the, the fucking products moved. That shit ain't going to never die. Never. You know? The rates maybe go up and down or whatever shit. But people are going to always need somebody to transport shit from point A to point B. You know? So that's the route I'm going into. And, um... I'm going to keep, keep digging into it. And uh, the goal is for right now and shit with this this, this, this damn job. Because now I'm just looking at it. Even though I've spent quite a few years in this shit. Now I'm just looking at this shit as a temporary situation. I'm going to do what I need to do. Stack my money and get the fuck out. It's plain and simple. Get the hell out of here. Because they can have this shit. All this, this power tripping and I'm the boss and you this and all. Y'all can have that motherfucking shit. I'm good. I'm good. They can have it. I don't want it. I'm not going to continue to work in a place where bullying other adults is it's cool. I'm not going to work in a place where uh, sexual harassment is cool. I'm not going to continue to work in a place where people are more concerned about hooking up with multiple people. Uh, I'm not going to keep continue to work in a place where folks can't even get uh, pickups on the goddamn truck and shit. Then when the people's come down there and be like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? And then y'all like, mm, what, what do you mean? Stuff is not getting picked up. What do you mean what I mean? I don't even want to see the shit when they when these people come. Honestly, I don't even want to see the shit. Because I know it's going to be ugly. These motherfuckers, they're not going to talk nice. They're going to be cussing people out. And shit, it's going to be an ugly situation. And I don't know if I can be blunt, blunt on here without um, being in trouble with YouTube. But um, it's certain people that's in control <laughs> <laughs> they call them fucking shots and you can't play with their money like that and then there's people of this <laughs> in my facility they can they have they're in certain positions and they think that they the ones no i'm sorry i'm sorry sweetheart no they ain't that ain't how and you old enough to know this shit <laughs> you old enough to know this shit you that come on now yeah, pull this shit together. Pull your peoples to get. Pull your peoples together. If y'all know what I mean. And I ain't talking about color. I'm talking about um family wise. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Pull them together and get this stuff going so that the peoples from the other place don't come in here in a mass group to put their foot in y'all's ass. I'm probably going to be in trouble for this video, but I don't give a fuck. I don't. That's just how fed up I am with this, this, this whole shit. Uh, I don't care. No. Get this stuff together. So, yeah. I don't held y'all long enough. Like I said, probably ain't going to be a whole lot of people to watch this shit, and that's fine, but I got to think. So, may I can go to work tonight with a clear mind. Depended on, you know, 
it's always something different every day that I go to work. It's always something different. So I'm just like, that's why I always have to prepare myself like, oh, Lord Jesus, what, what's it going to be tonight? Who's going to say whatever what to me that's going to irritate the shit out of me? Because this morning, I definitely wasn't expecting that shit this morning. So I just thought I was going to head in there to clock out and get out of there and go home. And that's not how my morning started out. So, you know, I, mom, I was irritated as a, when I came home. I was mad when I laid down to, to go to sleep. Cause like I said, I work at night. So I sleep during the day. So I was mad as shit when I laid down to go to sleep. I went to sleep mad. I ain't even gonna lie. I went to sleep mad. Cause it's like, what you mad at me? Because you got somebody, how you gonna be mad at me? Cause I told you that I was like the hell with this shit. And that's what I told him. So I was like the hell with this shit. You're not going to ask me to do something and then y'all got people up here and want to play with me. No, I don't I don't come up in here to play play. I'm here to do a job. You ask me to do a job. I'm here to do the job and then go do my other job because y'all think I'm super fucking woman. Do my other job and go to fuck home. I'm just trying to get my money and go home. That's all I give a shit about at this point. I don't care about all this extra stuff. Y'all all this petty bitch shit. These, these these females is on. I just want to do my job, get my money, go home. That's it. That's it. That's all. And folks don't want to allow people this that that much peace. So, whatever. So hopefully tonight will be a better night. If not, y'all gonna hear about it. And so I just want to kind of to come in and let y'all know, like y'all probably like I said, y'all be seeing my little shorts about me you know not too happy with my job and stuff i'm not gonna say the word because i don't know you know they be tripping so but that's what that stuff be about you know i make it humorous and stuff but i i do be feeling like that for real i do so i know y'all some of y'all was like why the hell this shit this shit's funny but what the hell yeah mm -hmm. that's what it's about but i'll let y'all go maybe i'll come in while I'm at work, depending on how shit goes tonight. And, um, I do be liking to take y'all to work. Y'all be watching my videos that I be recording at work and shit. Cause sometimes I be bored and I'm like, shit. Now, surely y'all want to see what I do. Y'all see what I do. And people complain about that. People complain about folks cleaning. Like, how do you, how do you complain about people cleaning? Anyway, I'll let y'all go. I'll see y'all next time.